Hi, children. We are back again after a short break. Uh, we are continuing with uh, simple equations. Uh, we have done quite a lot of sums on simple equations with brackets. I will take one more example so that you will be able to uh, understand it fully. We will look at this. Thorn x plus 5, big bracket, double bracket, 4 minus x plus 1, double bracket close, equals 17. Now, we, we studied, first we have to uh, remove the inside bracket. So, we write like this, thorn x plus 5, bracket, 4, this 4 has nothing to do with the bracket, 4 minus x minus 1, close bracket, equals 17. Then again, we will remove with the multiplying by 5, 7 x plus 20 minus 5 x minus 5, equals 17. So now we remove, uh, remove the, uh, simplify and we get uh, 7 x minus 5 x is 2 x, 20 minus 5 is 15, plus 15 equals 17. So 2 x equals 17 minus 15, that is equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 upon 2, that is equal to 1. Now we have done this before, I hope you understand it fully. We have some more, we, have, we should do some more exercise on simple equations. I will take a few more examples. Look at this one. x minus 2 upon 2 equals 4. Now, this is a fraction. Now, we know how to solve fraction. Now, x upon 5 equals uh, 3 upon 2 means we cross multiply. We cross multiply and one shot we get the answer. How? 5 into 3, x into 2, 2x, two multiply with x first, 5 into 3, 15. So, x is equal to 15 upon 2. So, here, because we have two fractions here, we cross multiply. Here also, there are two fractions. This is one fraction, this is fra one fraction. Four, you know, that is 4 upon 1 always. So, here the numerator is x minus 2. The denominator is 2. So, we, cross, we multiply by x minus 2 first. x minus 2 is equal to 8. So, x is equal to 8 plus 2, that is equal to 10. So, x is equal to 10, one shot we got the answer. So, what you remember here is a, it's a, a fraction, numerator, denominator, numerator, denominator here 1. So, we cross multiply, like it's similar to this one. We will take another example. Look, 2a upon 3 plus 1 equals 7. So, here some children get confused. Uh, and uh, they don't know whether to cost multiply or do some other way. But here it's not a case of cost multiply, we, we can't immediately cost multiply. What we can do is get the 1 on to that side. So, what you can do is 2a upon 3 equals 7 minus 1. So, 2a upon 3 equals 6. Now, cost multiply 1 into 2a, 2a is equal to 6 is 18, uh, a is equal to 18 upon 2, that is equal to 9. So, here what we did was, uh, we brought the number onto that side, then it becomes a fraction. Fraction on this side, fraction on that side. Now, we can easily cross multiply. 3x plus 2 upon 5 equals 5. That was the same thing. 3x, 3x plus 2 is equal to 25. So, bring that thing onto that side. 3x equals 25 minus 2, that is equal to 23. So, x is equal to 23 upon 3. Look at it. Here, there are three terms. 1, 2, 3 terms. So, we can't cross multiply here because only if we are cross multiplying, you must have something like this. 3 upon x is equal to half, something like that. Cross multiply x is equal to 6. But we can't do a thing like that because there are three items. When there are three items, what we should do is always find the LCM for the denominators. So, the LCM for the denominator is 3 times 2, 6, we all know that because both primary numbers we can multiply. So, LCM is equal to 6. And what we do is multiply each and every term by the LCM. Then, <coughs> then automatically the denominators will get cancelled. So, next step will be 3 upon 2 into 6 plus x upon 3 into 6 equals 4 into 6. 
each and every term you have to multiply. There are three terms. All three terms you multiply by the LCM six. So here two and six cancel. Three nine x plus three and six cancel here two x equals six hundred four twenty four. So can you see the denominator has got disappeared. So nine x plus two x equals eleven x equals twenty four. So x is equal to twenty four upon eleven. So look at this carefully, children, because there are three terms here. So when there are more than one term, more than two terms, you have to always find the LCM and uh, multiply each and every term by the LCM. Then the denominator will get cancelled. Look at this. This is another type. There are different different types of simple equations. Uh, at the beginning, what you should do is you do lot of sums. Then you will be able to get the experience. Now what you have to do is here when there is a bracket, you all know we have to. Multiply uh, by the number to uh, get rid of the bracket. So here bracket three x upon two minus one, and the outside number is four. So you have to multiply by four both these numbers. So what you should do is now here you can't do this. Never try to do in the mind with a little little. So you can make a mistake. So four into three x upon two, you can write it like this: a multiply. Now here two and four cancel. Two. So that is equal to six x. Then four into three x, three x upon two, two and four cancel six x. Then minus four into one four is equal to twelve. No, no denominator, no bracket, nothing. So six x equals twelve plus four. That is equal to sixteen. So x is equal to sixteen upon six. You can cancel by two, eight, three. That is equal to eight upon three. So x equal to eight upon three. One more example will take children. Look at this. Y plus one upon two plus y minus three upon four equals half. There are three terms. So no question of question question applying. What you should do is find the LCM for all the denominators. Now two four two is the denominator, and we know that uh, two is going into four, two is going into four. So four is the LCM automatically. So LCM equals four. So multiply each and every term by four. So y plus one upon two into four plus y minus three upon four into four is equal to half into four. So two and four cancel here. Two. That is two bracket y plus one plus four and four cancel y minus three equals two and four cancel two. Equals two. So remember back at here, two y plus two plus y minus three equals two. Two y and one three y. Uh, plus two minus three minus one minus one equals two. So three x equals three uh, y equals uh, two plus one. That is equal to three. Y is equal to three upon three. That is equal to one. So the answer y is equal to one. So in this case, like what we did earlier, one uh, find the LCM and find, uh, multiply each and every term by the LCM. Then the automatically the denominator will cancel. So this is all for this today. I hope you have liked the lesson. Please subscribe if you have liked the lesson.